And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at Denmark, and specifically Denmark's new ruling that states that Syrians and Syrian migrants can now be sent back to their home country. It's titled, Denmark becomes the first European country to send Syrian migrants back to the home country, saying it is now safe for them. Yeah, you heard that right. Syria is now safe. Now, this is from Denmark's ruling centre-left Socialist Democrat Party, who you may be wondering why they've actually gone down this route with them being centre-left. Well, it seems that in Denmark, right-leaning parties are snapping at the heels, so they've taken this anti-immigration stance to fend them off. <laughs> now, you may be wondering how they're actually doing this. Well, they've revocated the permits that they've given out after they've deemed Damascus as safe. This is on top of Germany, who had previously ruled that cri criminals could be returned to Syria, as Syria is now safe. Now, at this point, everyone, I'd like to point out what our media have done in regards to this story. Now, all of the pictures on the article are pictures like this. Looks really bad, doesn't it? Now, all of these pictures were taken between the time of... Are we ready? 2011, 2014, at the height of IS. Should we have a look at what Syria really looks like? Should we have a quick look? See the shocking difference? Syria doesn't look like that bad a place after all, does it? And yet, we see them as refugees. I think the pictures prove different, don't they? More proof. Categorical proof that the media are lying to us as well, isn't it, everyone? You might be wondering how they've done this as well. Well, I personally think it's ballsy and genius, to be honest. They're not removing refugees, which would be against ECJ. What they're actually doing is placing them in deportation camps until they choose to leave. See what I mean? Ballsy, genius. It seems that when the refugees no longer serve the purpose of the left, i.e. Denmark's ruling centre-left Socialist Democrat Party, they discard them. Political pawns, so to speak. Welcome to our world, Syrians. We get used like that as well, don't we, everyone? Prime Minister Met Fredriksson has promised to target zero asylum seekers applying for residence in the country. Zero. Now, let's not forget, everyone, Denmark joined the EU and ECJ solely because the British market joined. You may have seen a previous video that I did specifically on that. Denmark, if you may not know, also opted out of the euro and are threatening to leave the EU if they don't get a better deal to follow the British market out. Now, so far, Denmark have stripped 92 Syrian refugees in the country of residency permits. Matthias Tesve, Denmark's immigration minister, there he is, said last month that the country had been open and honest from the start with refugees coming from Syria. We have made it clear to the Syrian refugees that their, re their residency permit is temporary and it can be withdrawn if protection is no longer needed, he said. The decision made by Denmark and the Rift Damask governor now means that a further 350 Syrian resi residents in the country will have their temporary protection permits reassessed. This is on top of the roughly 900 refugees from Damascus who had their cases reopened last year. This came after a December 2019 ruling, everyone, by Denmark's Refugee Appeals Board that the conditions in Damascus in Syria were no longer sufficiently dangerous to give grounds for temporary protection without any additional personal reason to give asylum. So they've effectively effectively said that Syria is safe to send people back and therefore the people are from Syria are no longer refugees in their country. Now what's my opinion on this? Well I want to know pretty useless and everybody else if you can think of why. Why Denmark can do this and they're in the ECJ and the EU. Us, we have to give hotels and open our borders to the extent of going out and facilitating illegal breaches of our border with a bogus border force to help what Denmark and Germany deem no longer refugee status people. So I want to know why we still have to, even though we're not even in the EU. They can and we can't. Explain this, everyone. Can you explain it? So I call on the British government. If you listen to this, this sort of stuff, we know what you're doing now. You're actively not doing anything about it because you don't want to. Because if the EU and member states of the EU can do something about it, why can't you? Need I say more, everyone? I'd like to know your opinion, though. I'd like to know, do you think this is a good move? Do you think they will actually go through with it? Do you think the people of Syria will move to these deportation camps and then decide it's probably better to go home and fix their own country? Which, I'll be honest, I would want to do if it was my country. 
Or do you think it's just smoke and mirrors to get them through the next election? I'd like to know your opinion. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, everyone. I really do need you to share it out. Also, everyone, please, please, please go and check out my alt media. All the links are in the description. It looks like YouTube are doing another cull, so I don't know how long I'm going to be about for. If you want to keep up with the content, you'll find it on alt me media when I'm no longer on YouTube. So it's best to get a head start and go and support me over there. You'll be doing me a favour as well, everyone. Stay Saying, I'll see you on the next one.